What is up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to the Left Metal. It's time for Big Edition of... The Mail! That's right. Time for The Mail! This edition of The Mail is brought to you by my very good friend, Greg Mackey, or Greg the Egg, as you all may know him from YouTube. Um, I will put a link to his channel below. Greg is one of my favorite YouTubers because he's just freaking funny. <laughs> um, his, his musical style, it's hard for me to figure out. He's a huge fan of, of the Ramones, huge Blackmore, uh, Richie Blackmore, Deep Purple, Rainbow fan, um, which is why you see this in the background over here. Uh, in fact, the name of his channel is Blackmore Rules. Um, but then he also likes a lot of like punk and straightforward rock and roll. He likes a little bit of everything, but he's not into real extreme metal. And um, so I'm always trying to like, what will he like? So I sent him a package not too long ago, and he liked most of it. So <laughs> I was, I'm all, I'm all right um, with that. But uh, he's he's a little more hard. For, he's harder for me to figure out than some for some reason. But um, his channel is just a blast. Um, does a lot of uh, videos from his car, you know, where he shows stuff he's playing. Does uh, uh, rock hall videos, R A W K hall videos. So anyhow, let me get to this video because this is the box here. So obviously it's got a, just a, a few things in it. Um, <laughs> And right on top, there's something cool. Uh, I'm assuming that this is going to be a, um, mostly a package of Donnie and Marie stuff because Donnie and Marie are on tour right now, and um, so I'm, I'm assuming that he went to the show and, and it's going to just hook me up with some really killer, uh, you know, Donnie and Marie merch. Uh, th that's my assumption, but I don't know, so we'll see. But first of all, we have a uh, Stanley Cup uh, banner for the Flyers, which is really cool. Champions de la Coupe Stanley. So it's in, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's in French on one side and then English on the other. Very cool. I, I definitely gonna have to find some wall space for this. We'll see, we'll find something for it. Not here, it'll go in the other one. That's cool. Um, and then here is a, uh, a magazine. This is from 1984, Bobby Clark moving on up. Of course, Bobby Clark is one of the most well-known players from the Flyers past. Um, man, that's old. I wonder where that came from. 1984, International Hockey Weekly. Cool, I'll have to check that out. It's interesting, it's interesting to see old newspapers like this because they it's newspapers. They usually don't last that long unless they're kept in a really good condition somewhere. Uh, looks like there is some books in here too. Oh, and a note. Please leave for last. Alright, this is a, a DVD ear goggles, summer 2010. I, I'm not sure what this is. It looks maybe like it could be a video magazine kind of thing. Issue 5, ear goggles, summer 2010. Uh, tree manipulators, the feminines, UK subs, Propaganda, Isotopes, it's all, I'm assuming that all those are different bands that are part of this. I'm assuming it's a DVD comp. I've not seen this before. Maybe if somebody else has seen this and can tell me exactly what it is. And then, oh, this is cool. Are you ready? Thin Lizzy album by album. Huge Thin Lizzy fan. And I really enjoy books like this where you get to, you know, read either a band member's perspective or a person's perspective of each single album. Um, I've read several like it. Matter of fact, um, I'm trying to remember which one. I have a Kiss book that where the members of Kiss did that, and and I just, or it was either they did it or they had different quotes taken from different magazines. Regardless, it was really cool to read and, and get some in-depth perspective on you know classic albums, and that's what I'm looking forward to on this one. Uh, there's a few there's a few shirts in here, which I'll put off till after I look at what these CDs are. There was a lot of CDs in here, so we're going to look at CDs next. Um, this is the Millennial Collection, the best of live Leonard Skinner. I do not have this, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. Michael Monroe. This is uh, Life Gets You Dirty. It says indie rock on there. I'm kind of curious. Is it really indie rock? Of course, um, Michael Monroe is known for his you know, over-the-top glam sounds from, uh, what was the name of his freaking band? Can you hear a baby crying in the background? That's my new grandson. <laughs> um, anyhow, what's the name of this band? Ugh, I hate when I can't remember something stupid and obvious like that. It'll come to me. 
Uh, oh, this is interesting. Huh. This is uh, Rush, Laura Second High School, St. Saint, uh, Catharines, Ohio, 1974. So 74 would have been um, pre Getty, uh, pre uh, Neil Pert, if I'm not mistaken. We'll have to see. Love live shows, love Rush. So I'm sure I'll be into that. Oh, here we go. See, I knew there would be some great Osmond Brothers greatest hits. Um, all the original recordings: One Bad Apple, Down by the Lazy River, <laughs> Yo Yo, The Proud One, Hold Her Tight, Double Lovin', and Going Home. Uh, Ken Benson. I don't know this one at all. So, uh, yeah, maybe so. if someone else out there knows any of this stuff that I don't know, I'm always looking for the feedback because sometimes I don't get to listen to this stuff right away, so I'd love to hear it. Uh, this is Metal Edge, The Best of L.A., Tough Tattoo Rodeo, Snakes of the Faith, Circle of Silence. Ah, that's a great band. Um, City of Faith. Medicine Wheel, Slamming Gladys, The Crying, Disturbance, uh, Doug Aldridge, and Johnny Galui, and Zen Boy. So this is later day best of LA. I'm trying to find a year on here. And I know I haven't showed it to you guys yet, but yeah, this is 94. So this is, you know, at the end of that whole huge LA um, glam movement. But yeah, my... I mean, I don't know all these songs, obviously, but uh, I know Tough, Tattoo Rodeo, uh, Circle of Silence. I love Circle of Silence. Circle of Silence is actually uh, the ex-singer from Accept who took over for Udo for a while. Uh, back was what, mid-80s, late 80s? And, um, and of course, Larry Farkas from, uh, from Vengeance Rising um, is on uh, guitar. Oh, this one's cool. This is Pat Travers Band, Boom Boom, Live in the Diamond, Toronto, 1990. Not cool. I'm looking forward to hearing that one. Love Pat Travers, just guitar-based, heavy rock and roll, I mean, hard rock and whatever you want to call it, kind of uh, in there with, you know, the guys like Frank Marino and, um, uh, who else? No, I, think, I kept thinking Jeff Beck, but that Jeff Beck's not right. Jeff Beck was, wasn't really ever quite as heavy and hard rocking as, as Pat Travers was. Um, I don't know, he's just a great hard rock guitar player. A um, lot, lot of, you know... I want to say Hendrix influences, but then it sounds like he's a Hendrix clone, and that's not the case at all. But anyway, if you don't know who Pat Travers is, uh, chances are you're, you're, you don't know anything about hard rock. Cause, you know, he had a couple of huge hits, uh, Live Rivers of Boom Boom, Out Goes the Lights, and um, Snorting Whiskey and Drinking Cocaine was another big one for him. Uh, this is the Rock and Roll Worship Circus. And I don't know what this is at all, so this one's going to have to be a, you know played because I, yeah, I don't know what it is at all and finally uh, Izzy Stratton and the Juju Hounds um, this is yeah, there it is I think I have this one and if I do have this one then I will be passing it on to somebody else I'm not 100% positive actually I'm pretty sure I do um, it's I'm pretty sure it's reviewed on my site um, so if I do then I'll just be passing it along to somebody else so Okay, so what we have here is some shirts. Like I said, I'm pretty sure these are going to be all Donnie and Marie tour shirts, but you never know. Could be something else. Right? Could be uh, maybe an Ava shirt. Or it could be a badass Rush t shirt. <laughs> tour shirt from 2015 Philadelphia PA I know I don't live there but that's my that's, I don't know whenever I think of concerts that was my stomping grounds when I was in you know high school and uh, in my early 20s so it's all like concerts that's a cool shirt very cool shirt love Rush especially 70s Rush um, this this is a, a Spinal Tap shirt it's none more black, obviously. Smell the glove, right there. Um, it's a fine line between stever, between uh, stupid and clever. It's inside out. Oh. <laughs> the the one thing that I loathe is the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
However, my wife is a fan, and whenever Greg sends a package along, he always seems to throw in something Pittsburgh Penguins for my wife. So, uh, there you go. Um, <laughs> she can wear that one. I wouldn't be caught dead in it. I do have one cool Pittsburgh Penguin shirt that I do like to wear. It's orange shirt. has a picture of the, the Pittsburgh Penguin on it, uh, wearing a wig, and it says, um, keep on, and it's got 87 on, the, on this uh, sweater and it says keep on crying we'll keep on flying I love that one and Greg Day gave me that one too uh, this is inside out too let's see what this is oh this is really cool it's like just an old classic Aerosmith shirt how's that <laughs> single sided yeah that will get that one will get a lot of wear from here I, I constantly it even has Aerosmith logo on the uh, see if there's a year on here ragdoll merchandising 2012 so there you go this one looks like it's been well well worn well loved which is perfect uh, and finally oh not finally there's two things left in here oh there's a couple things left in here please save this for last okay there's something in here to save for last there's a few records in here. Uh, so a couple seven inches. Oh, right on. Cauldron, Record Store Day release. Um, letting go, hold, uh, hold your fire. This was not a Record Store Day release here. So obviously it was a Record Store Day release in Canada. And I'm a huge Cauldron fan. So very cool to have this. Because um, I did not get a copy of this. You could have just sent this, Greg, and I would have been... <laughs> I would have been flipping out. So, uh, and this is um, Come On, uh, Pride Tiger. Now I do have some Come On stuff. Uh, Come On are kind of uh, I want to call them stoner rock, um, just heavy rock with a big '70s influence. Uh, if you can't tell that by the artwork, um, but yeah, good stuff. It's uh, I believe they're also a Canadian band. And then they have the the little uh, I don't know if you can see that on the bottom down there, but probably my thumb. See if I can get a, the glare right there. So it says, "See where it says, yeah, right," and it's got the cassette tape with the with the crossbones on it. That's the old uh, home taping is killing music thing from the '80s. But it says, uh, "Yeah, right" on it. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, which I'm assuming is the name of the record company this is released on. This seems to be a more common way that record that 12 inch singles come, especially independent ones, in the folded ones like this, and then it comes in a sleeve. I actually kind of think that's cool. I like them. Um, even the Japanese singles were just a single sleeve with a you know just a record company sleeve behind them. So I kind of like these. Some people prefer the the full you know glued together sleeves, but I, I kind of like these just as much as those. So very cool. Uh, oh, there's a couple of 12 inch records in here. This is oh monster truck. Um, yeah, he turned me on to this band to begin with. Again, just straightforward heavy. Rocking, rock and roll, <laughs> um, and this is a two-record set. Um, again, from Canada. There's the back cover and the front cover, and the note says that one side has an etching on it. So let's see if I can find the etching. Yeah, there it is. So there's the. Uh, let's see. We'll have to get the glare right for you to see it, but you can kind of see the. It's uh, obviously the same funky looking lines as the front cover you know perspective lines very cool Greg I wasn't expecting this at all so that's awesome and then um, it wouldn't be a package from from Greg the egg without, uh, without at least one of these <laughs> like I said it's got to be a Donnie Marie in here somewhere uh, there, there isn't a Donnie well actually there is one more thing it says please save for last so this very well could be the Donnie and Marie tour shirt that I was that I was kind of expecting so um, but yeah, this is uh, Donnie and Marie featuring songs from their television show, Deep Purple. Come, come on, Marianne, and A, my name is Alice. I probably have 10, 15 copies of this now. <laughs> and I think, I'm, I'm going to say that, uh, that 15 of them were all from Greg, so <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's awesome. And then, uh, finally, this is... Uh, Please save for last. So, um, this is a 
looks like a t-shirt. And like I said, it could be. It could be the Donnie and Marie shirt we are, I was expecting. Oh. <laughs> <It is> the <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, it's the male shirt. And it has me holding up the... Uh, and I think this is the exact cover that I used for the, that video. Uh, the Donnie and Marie collection video that I did. But you can see my... Uh, I put a bar across my eyes so you couldn't see who it was me, you know? <laughs> that's just, that's awesome. Um, that's hilarious, actually. So that's it for this edition of The Mail. <laughs> Check out Greg's channel. Um, if, if you don't get his sense of humor just from some of the stuff he sent, you'll definitely catch it when you watch his videos. So that's it. God bless and stay strong. <laughs>